This special edition exclusively from In the Line of Duty. An Oklahoma cop finds herself in the middle of an international media firestorm after a fatal officer-involved shooting. 321, we have shots fired, we have one suspect down. And is charged with manslaughter and ultimately exonerated by a jury of her peers. Folks don't realize how much that they need to have uh, legal uh, representation and a uh, legal defense already set up for them. As the investigation unfolds and the evidence continues to be released, uh, it will reveal and support that Officer Shelby was justified in her use of force. One of the statements that was made by the judge in my case was theoretically an officer can follow their policy, uh, their agency's policies and procedures. They can. They can follow their training to the T and still be convicted of first degree manslaughter. Don't go away. You're about to get absolutely critical lessons learned from the officers involved in the line of duty. Officer Betty Shelby of the Tulsa, Oklahoma PD was in the middle of a 2 p.m. to midnight shift and had been dispatched to back another officer on a disturbance call. That would soon change. We have shot fire. We have one suspect down. Hello, welcome to In the Line of Duty. I'm Ron Barber. En route, she saw a lone male subject standing with his arms at his sides and looking straight down in the middle of the street. Although that got Officer Shelby's attention, she continued towards her destination until a hundred yards or so farther along. She saw an SUV parked also in the middle of the street and decided to stop and try to unravel it all. It was a decision that would erupt into worldwide news coverage when Officer Shelby ended up shooting the man who did not respond to a single verbal command, kept reaching into his pocket and ultimately appeared to reach into his SUV prompting Officer Shelby to shoot him once in the side, fatally wounding the subject. I think he may have just been tasered. 